Before I show you what to look for on your guitar, let me talk about humidity control and temperature control, which are the two things that'll keep you from having to come back to this video to see what's wrong with your guitar. So the whole key with fine acoustic guitars um, is to keep them as close as you can to 45% humidity and about 70 degrees Fahrenheit all year long. That means every day, every hour. So you have to be careful of situations where at night your temperature drops five degrees and comes back because that means the wood is actually going shrink, expand, shrink, expand every day. And guess what that looks like? Eventually a crack, boom, right? So don't worry, don't forget about temperature as well as humidity. Um, and people say, well, 45, but is 60 okay? Like, no, if you have 60 or, or a high humidity all the time, your, your wood's gonna absorb moisture and swell up and your strings are gonna get high and you're gonna notice problems starting to happen around the bridge. The bridge might lift, et cetera, et cetera. If you're too low, if you let the um, Northeast heat come on in your house and it's 20% humidity or 10% humidity, which it can get here if we're not careful, um, you're gonna see everything shrink. The top's gonna sink a little bit, your fret ends are gonna pop out and you're gonna maybe see cracks and bridge lifts and all that stuff too. So 24 hours a day, 45 degrees or 70, um, 45% humidity, 70 degrees. How do you do that? Well, of course there's different ways and I have other videos talking about that as well, but you can use a HVAC um, addition to your system. Here we have evaporative humidity in the actual building. Um, you can keep them in a storage case. Um, you can keep them in a, a good quality case that has a weather seal with humidity control inside. Um, and of course you can use room humidifiers as well if you have a space where you dedicate to your instruments. So some way or another, you need to control the environment your guitar is living in every day of the year. So when it comes to controlling humidity and temperature for your guitars, there's a couple of really simple ways to do it. One is if you have a lot of guitars like us, you need to have something on your HVAC system. So we have a, a steam evaporative humidity system built into the HVAC. And then you have to have gauges So make sure you get hygrometers. Um, and we have many of them, every different room um, so that we can see what's going on. Um, that's the first thing. And whether you're in a case, a room, whatever, you need to have a hygrometer so you know what's going on. You're not guessing. Um, so in this case for a room, you can hang your guitars up, which I think is the preferred or have them on stands where you can easily grab them and play. That's my preference as the best way to store your guitars. Or um, if you have just a few guitars, you can use furniture. So American Music Furniture is a company that makes really great cases. This is Alchemy, a different one. So there's different companies you can use that make cases that are going to be um, have tight seals um, so that they're keeping the humidity proper. And then, of course, inside the, the furniture, you need to have the proper treatment. And then if you don't have those options, a space, a room or furniture, of course, you can use good quality cases. We have several that we sell from Vices Newt and Carlton and Carora and Hoffy, and all of them feature a humidity seal, which is the key so that they're gonna hold moisture really well. So you put humidity control in there, you put a gauge in there, and you keep an eye on it. And that's the whole key, of course. If you don't look at your gauges every week or so, you could get into a real problem. So have gauges wherever you're storing your guitars and know exactly what's going on so you can treat it properly. Thank you.